Chinese Type 56 SKS. This is a uh, one of my nice ones. I have. Uh, it has all matching serial numbers, which is uh, rare. Uh, a lot of times they were packed away in crates uh, down down at the, the armory, the parts and stuff, or sometimes mismatched when they slapped the grease on them. This one has matching parts, which I'm I'm happy about. Also, it's my uh, most um, historically complete SKS. Um, we have a, a SKS Type 56 sling. Uh, Type 56 uh, bandolier holds 200 rounds. Pretty cool. And that's a uh, Type 56 uh, carrying case. Uh, these are all made in China. All surplus uh, surplus stuff. Took a while to find them all, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Those are stripper clips. Uh, they hold 10 rounds each, and those were made in the uh, Factory 31. So these are also Chinese, uh, Chinese made S S K um, SKS stripper clips. And the carrying case, it's uh, pretty. It's pretty simple. Uh, you just throw it in there and uh, uh, close the flaps, and you wrap these uh, these straps around it a couple times, and that's what just pretty much keeps it in place. Your sling is your carrying handle. Uh, you know, just throw over your shoulder and go. Um, most shooting ranges require your, your rifle. Well, they they suggest your rifles be cased when you when you uh, bring them. And uh, I have a. Uh, my AK uh, drop case uh, from other some other rifles and um, it's the same design same concept but uh, yeah it's a pretty, pretty little case pretty convenient yeah, it's sort of uh, sort of funny when I unpacked that uh, that bandolier um, I had 200 rounds in it a lot of times it's easy just to you know pre-pack your mags and pre-pack uh, you know, all your stuff and just you know it's easier. It's easier to uh, carry less stuff in your hand when you try to go to range. Anyway, when I unpacked these uh, bandoliers, I realized the, uh, the stripper the stripper clips still had uh, I had um, I had bought some surplus military Russian ammo at one time. I had forgotten I bought it, but they, uh, they uh, put this uh, red uh, red sealant on around the around 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 the case and then on the primer uh, keep the moisture and stuff out. Uh, you just uh, insert the uh, insert the clip. And uh, push the rounds in. Again, uh, SKS holds 10 rounds. And uh, around 1963, uh, China had a, it's called a Type 63 SKS. And those two are the Amex. Uh, they're, they're really hard to find. And when I do find one, I just simply just can't afford it. I mean, these used to be $100, bucks, $100 rifles. Uh, now they um, you probably can't touch an SKS under $400. You know, supply and demand. They only made they only made a couple million of them, but yeah, only uh, they, they China cannot import these into into the U.S. This one came from um, Albania, and uh, what happened was China China built them. Uh, this is uh, made sometime around 1965 to 67. That's where the serial number put it at. Um, China made it and shipped thousands to Vietnam for the Vietnam War, and then afterwards uh, they got most of those back because those were loaner, pretty much loaner weapons. And then in the 1990s, Albania was going through a civil war, so China uh, shipped uh, shipped them thousands of these, uh, all cased in crates, and, and it was sitting in Albania for the last, uh, oh, yeah, since the 90s. And from Albania, these were shipped over to the U.S. Uh, as surplus, uh, surplus uh, weapons. Uh, they were often packed in grease, uh, and a lot of times when they were packing the grease, they would yank the rest apart. Uh, pack them in cosmoline and throw them in the throw them in crates and that's when often your bolts and other parts would start getting mismatched uh, i got a type 53 from Ch uh, that's just a chinese 53 all matching numbers but the bolt um somewhere down the line the bolt got taken out grease and greased up and then they probably inserted into the different a different firearm a different uh, serial number you know serial numbered firearm so someone someone out there somewhere has my bolt and i got their bolt so yeah, it's uh, it's it's common for you, for you old surplus guns. Today I was shooting out in a hundred yards. Again, this is the first time I shot it. Uh, I had never planned to really shoot it. Uh, again, I got it this for the historical value of it. Uh, bought the uh, the sling and the and the bandolier and all the all the stuff to it, and uh, never had time to shoot it. Today I'm out there a hundred yards. Sort of curious to how it would uh, how it would group. Uh, again, this has been through uh, at least two wars, Vietnam War and. Uh, Albanian war 
and then in between those wars were sitting in crates you know full of grease so i was really curious about the, um, how it would shoot at 100 yards i'm shooting at a little silhouette target um but yeah i was uh i was impressed I mean, it's not a, it's not gonna be a tech driver you're not gonna shoot you're not gonna shoot a sub MLA with uh with you know with open sights and SCAS. But I was I was definitely uh, happy with the grouping. Yeah, that's uh, I, I can I can live with that. That's good. That's good.